Here we are joining our Miami Dolphins. It's third and one. Ball's on the 34-yard line. Unfortunately, in the previous series, two or three, uh, a pick and INT, but on the previous play, it was a completion to Gizicki. So at this stage of third down touchdowns, we'd normally be looking at a passing tree. However, on this play at third and one, the play is going to be a sneak, um, but we're in trips left, three receivers spread out to the left, one receiver to the right, good old-fashioned uh, spread formation. It's worth pointing out that the Bills have five DBs out covering four wide receivers. In the last slide, I said Tua just had to worry about the box defenders. So far, we have it looks like we've got four down linemen, two linebackers, six in total against five offensive linemen. However, when you see the film and culture's film, you'll see number 73, our uh, left tackle Jackson, goes straight to the linebacker 44. So that takes out their left defensive end out of the blocking. Uh, in this game picture, we have uh, both the A-gaps are on and one A-gap. There is no defender. He's lined up as a three-tech. And the other one-tech defender can be double-teamed out of here. Unfortunately, we don't run it. I'm not sure what Tua thinks, but will he allows the defense to shift, which we'll look at now. So now we're looking at how uh, the defense have shifted. Um, the uh, right one-tech, as we look at it often on the offensive right, and the A-gap is still there. Uh, now Flowers has a defender lined up over him who's angled into the other A-gap. This shouldn't have been allowed to happen, and we'll look at that more now in Coach's film. I need to point out at this point in time, two is not going to come out very well out of this in, in critique. It's third and one. The formation's correct. We've got both our outside receivers on the line of scrimmage. We've got two inside receivers off the line of scrimmage. He should just be coming up here, getting under centre and snapping the ball. But as we run the playthrough, a defensive tackle has time to stand up and do a chin strap up. We've got another defensive tackle who's still in the one tech, but yet as we manages to slide across to the one and take away what should be an easy first down. This is a well-coached Bills defence. To be frankly, I'm not sure what Tua is doing here. This isn't Alabama. It concerns me about the coaching staff. Um, you know, this should have been an easy first down. I'm just going to look at the, the box of film. A lot of gesticulating from Tua. Defensive tackle stood up to do his chin strap up. Uh, the three tech is now because they're well coached this is all about being well coached he now slides over now our simple double team here which I believe Tua should get behind because it stopped 59 coming down and killing him uh, but Flowers has got a really tough job here uh, because that defensive tackle can just fill that A gap by slanting into it now Jackson actually isn't looking at 44 he's looking at um, uh, Epinesa the uh, defensive end, uh, but he goes to 44. So now we sneak. Davis has got his good drive off the line, quite low. Carreras has got a really tough uh, job here because he has to get his hand out from between his legs. Flowers is in good body position. Uh, uh, for those of you who have been critical of Flowers this year, I would like to see his head get across there. Uh, now, if we get all the way across there, we actually, you know, that's not a bad job from Jackson. Big improvement. He wasn't doing that at the start of the year. It should have been a simple first down. Our offensive line helped us out. Um, Tua has to do better on this next year. You know, it's just something, again, it's not Alabama. This is the NFL. He's got to do better.